praise God. I'm happy that God has given you that opportunity that you can be with us in this channel today as we worship and we remember about the goodness of God. I want to appreciate you for taking that opportunity. So this evening, I've just been chilling in this office and I realize about the goodness of God. And because people are celebrating about Jesus Christ and because it's Easter and uh, when we look at Easter, it is a very good and great as a holiday for Christianity. When we look and we remember ourselves about how Jesus Christ passed through pain and for him, he went through crucifixion for us to be redeemed of our sin. So today, we want to look unto the blood. Because in Genesis chapter number 3, verse 21, you are going to see that uh, there was no sin. There was everything was good on earth. So Adam and Eve had been created by God. So we had God and we humanity were in good fellowship and they were relating with God and everything was wonderful praise the living God there was no sin there was no sorrow there was no tear oh I just tried to uh, to look at that date and I want to see how God how God how that day could be now that we could be there was no tears, nothing. So there was no tears, there was no heart, heart attack, there was no death, no suffering. Then the devil came on the scene and, and tempt Eve, you remember? And Adam. And that was the beginning of the fall of humanity. But because God loved us, God loved the humanity, he tried his level best to bring back humanity to his relationship with him. He wanted to bring back humanity to fellowship back with him. Because he had a great intention. He had a purpose why he created us. Praise the living God. So the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 21. And to Adam and to his wife did the Lord God made coat of skin and clothed them. You know the reason why God made the coat of skin and clothed them? It was because the humanity had fallen short of his glory. After the temptation from Satan. Praise the living God. In the book of Leviticus chapter number 17 verse 11. The Bible tells us that it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. So, we look at uh, those wonderful statements from the Bible. So, it means that without the shedding of the blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. So, God understood that understood what was happening during the, the, the Old Testament. And because he loved the humanity, he had to allow his son to be born from the human womb to, be, to, 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 to grow and to, to associate with the humanity until the date that he was now to pass through pain, to shed blood, and after that, after crucifixion and death, then he be risen and, and sit on the right side of God. And because Jesus came to, at, with his blood, he, our sin was atoned. We were redeemed of our sin. We became, again, uh, with the great fellowship of Christ Jesus. Because if you can remind yourself back in the old days of the Old Testament, when if a human being or 
us did a sin or things that were not right before the eyes of God, then if you were to be forgiven of your sins, then you were to sacrifice either a lamb or any or a dove. And all the sacrificial was to be done by the priest. So if the priest that had the power and to go to the place of holiness and give the sacrifice for us to be atoned of our sin. And it was a very hard thing because if the priest had passed through the sin or maybe he had not repented of his sin, then you remember he was to be, the, the rope was to be tied of his feet so that when he goes there and maybe he did not repent and he was sinful, then he could die from there. So these other people could not get that opportunity to go there. So they will just pull the body out of the sanctuary. But the Lord God loved us. And when Christ Jesus, I remember when he was crucified, he said something. He's finished. He said he's finished. So when he said he's finished, and you remember how the curtain was spread, and for us we were given that opportunity that we can go before God and also cry. So we were all made priests. We could go before God and communicate to him through Jesus Christ because he is our Lord. Praise the living God. So every time, our sin are forgiven when we repent. So because of the wonderful work that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ made, and through his blood, our sins were cleansed, then we were given that opportunity to have a fellowship again with Christ Jesus. So I want to thank you for that moment. And as we remember the pain and suffering that Jesus Christ passed through, it is our opportune time to make well our ways with God. His love surpasses everything. He needs the fellowship of us to him. He gave us his son, his only son, so that for us to be redeemed of our sin, for us to be forgiven. So let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you glory for this evening. I want to thank you for the viewer. I want to thank you for that opportunity of giving us to remember about your goodness and for the sacrifice that you made through your son, Jesus Christ, for us to be forgiven of our sin. I want to pray for the viewer and I pray for the listener. In the name of Jesus, may you, Father, take charge in every pain, any sorrow that they pass through. And may you make them to understand that you are Jesus Christ and you love them. You are God and you love them. And you re remove them from any pain because they are yours, oh God. You have a great plan for them. Those who are sick and they are passing through sorrow, they are passing through tears, they are passing through pain. Jesus Christ, you said you are the healer. We decree healing unto their bodies and we believe that, God, you love them. Thank you, Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, viewer. Thank you for taking that opportunity time to listen to this evening sermon from Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us that opportunity. We give you glory. So thank you very much for coming to this channel. And I want to appreciate your work continue supporting global missionary link inc and i want to believe as we continue to pray and make our way good before god we will continue to spread the gospel of the lord to reach so many people who have not even gotten the word of god we are continuing with our work in africa we have a lot of books that we were given 
and I'm trying, we are trying to, as organization, we are trying to look at how we can uh, make those books in the Bible go to Africa. It's only that the shipping fee became so hard and those who were donating uh, because of COVID, I think the, everything went down, but we continue trusting God for his miracle that all the books that we were blessed by the people of God, we were blessed with so many books, and this is the commentaries that we were given that are supposed to go to Africa. But I want to trust God that God will give us that opportunity that we will send them to them. So continue praising God, continue worshiping God. We are all in this to praise God and to reach out to many with the hope of Christ. Thank you. God bless you.